Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are back here at day four of CES 2016 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And we are here at the Unique booth, and we have Jeff Fassbinder. He's a director of marketing. Uh, Jeff, uh, we were here, what, two years ago, and Unique had a very, very small booth. And last year and this year, we've seen Unique grow um, pretty big, Jeff. Yeah, we've grown significantly with the initial launch of our Typhoon series. And what we have here that's new and innovative here is the Typhoon H. You probably heard a lot about it. What's great about it is it's, got a, it's a modular design, and we have some great new technology such as sonar, we have optical flow, and we also have Intel RealSense technology. Uh, Intel RealSense te technology gives us the ability to have avoidance for uh, collision and running into things. And so when you're using follow me or watch me functions, and you're having the drone follow you, whether there's trees or stoplights or whatever it may be, it'll avoid those obstacles. But in addition to that, we also have a number of features. We have curb cable cam, which basically gives you waypoints, if you will, to define a flight path and have it fly those flights for you. We have a POI, point of interest, where you designate a point of interest, you fly away from that, whatever the diameter may be, and then it'll orbit that. And then we also have orbit mode, where it orbits you and basically gives you a full panoramic of yourself as you're flying. And those are just some of the new features. Uh, it's, the great thing about this is it's compact size. You can fold down the arms here simply by pressing the side here and just dropping that down. And we have this quick release prop that you put on here and it pops it off. So it enables you to not put on you know, your props in the wrong way. It makes it easy to put on so it's great for consumers. It comes with a backpack that you can store this in so it's great for travel. If you're into hiking, boating, whatever it may be outdoors, or just going with your family out to a, an occasion. It does come with a backpack, so it's easy to transport. Um, as far as you know, the lineage from the Typhoon series, it also has the modular cam camera design. So you, here you, we're showing it with a FLIR camera. We also have a Seagull 3 Plus, which it gives it the ability to pa you know, have, give panoramics 360, and it's unobstructed because it has retracts applied to this unit. So it's great for photographers, cinematographers that want to go out and get uh, epic videos. This is a great platform to use. Wow, and this camera here, is that, you, did you mention that was 4K or not? It is a FLIR camera, and it'll be available uh, probably uh, springtime, April, sometime April. So with this model, uh, you can actually control it, because we did see the demo at Intel with the real sensor. It's pretty cool. But um, the basic, without any of the features, you, uh, you have the controller with this? Uh, yeah, you would control it. Uh, we do have sonar built in, so we do have some collision avoidance, but not to the degree of the, the Intel RealSense technology. So with the Intel RealSense technology, uh, it, it operates and has a much faster uh, processing rate and enables it to function as you've seen many of those demos, which is very exciting. So with the base package, uh, w what price are we looking at? And, and is this available right now? Uh, it'll be available, the whole package, it'll be in April. This is when we'll start to uh, release this. The price point is starting at eight, uh, $17.99. And again, we have the modular design, so you can add and affix modules as needed for your particular flying application. It's pretty nice. So will the other uh, models that you have here at the booth have some of these features, or this is our only particular for this uh, model here? Currently, the, those new features are specific to the Typhoon H series uh, as far as this, and so we'll continue to evolve the line. And, and some of those features could possibly carry over, but right now our, our intent is to focus on the uh, H series. So how does that work out if I wanted to add the real sense or the other features to it? Um, is that on your website, or how does that work out? Well, what will happen is uh, the actual application of the module uh, we're, we're still actually working out the details with Intel, but basically it's going to be a, a, a plug-in module, modular design, so it's something that the end user should be able to apply themselves. Right. Sounds good. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Thank you.